All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we got a massive Battlefield 6 gameplay league details to talk about. The streets are telling me that Activision is doing something mega crazy out there. Like, we're gonna take a look at that. We got Dying Light 2 to talk about, so let's go for two likes on the video. Subscribe and notifications. I got new videos every single day, and I'll keep you in the loops. But coming in at number nine, this is massive, okay? The streets are telling me that hoping one day you will get it too, man. And I don't think I will get a creator code, my G, but appreciate you adding me because we're in that box. Bobby Poff has received his very own Call of Duty creator code. Some of you mother would be like, yo, Skizzle, okay, I'm kind of confused, all right? Like, it looks like that this man got a creator code. Why is this news? Listen here, my stud muffin. This is Bobby Poff. This is what Bobby Poff said before he received the creator code from Activision. Roll it. Cheating, bro. God fucking damn you, Activision! You greedy mother I'm trying to make a fucking living here, and you... Greedy corporate f**ks can just stop off, on dude. my f**king 18 inch f**ks! 18 inch. games in a row, I'm trying to make a f**king living here! Two god games in a row, dude! You greedy mother f**kers, dude! You guys! Now you see what I mean? So the fact that he got a creator code, that is wild. Activision is doing the unthinkable, like Bobby Puff has received his very own Call of Duty creator code. And you know what? The man is definitely gonna eat good. Like, I love seeing that. The fact that Activision has given him the code, even though, like, he was wilding out. And rightfully so, man. Like, he saw a bunch of cheaters in his game, like, in a Warzone tournament. He could have made, like, Benji's. And the fact that he lost because of a cheater, uh, I mean, he, he lost a lot of money, right? Like, he could have won a lot of money. There are a billion languages and the man chose to spit facts. I gotta clap it up for this man, bro. But the sus part here is that he did put out this rage video and he did take it down once it went viral. So one, if you think that Activision reached out to him and they were like, okay, we're gonna provide moisturizers, we're gonna, we're gonna give you the creator code, we're gonna give you Benji's if you take down this video, or two, if you think Activision just wanted to be nice and they wanted to give my man uh, Bobby Pop a creator code. Also, in the news, Call of Duty officially came out and they're saying that you want this uh, hippity hoppity bundle grab it from the store now for black ops and warzone dr Enib got baited in this situation he says that activision giving free bundles i'll take it and then you know a couple of minutes after he replied by showing the image where you can see the hippity hoppity bundle for easter uh, it's a uh, 2000 call of duty points he followed up under charlie until by saying that i thought they would give it for free because it's a holiday then i remembered that's activision because apparently this bundle is for easter right the day they give something out for free is the day you retire from twitter i must smash the like button on both of these fellas game sucks it's always the guys with the sports pfp this is what the streets are talking about everybody speaking of gta 6 released a new bungie ip targeting 2025 release yo that's when we're probably gonna get uh gta 6 I, I personally think that we're gonna get bungie before we get gta 6 okay facts no printer ladies and gentlemen but uh bungie is actually targeting a 2025 release apparently jacob benton who was a director or designer director at halo he's now working at bungie and he says that our team is working on a new secret world in parallel with destiny we are looking firmly at 2025 so i like button if you think we're not gonna get gta 6 by then as well also in the news the homie ellie added me in the situation because we're hearing that the witcher 3 wild hunt ps5 upgrade gets release window for the second half of 2021 and apparently uh radek I, I hope that's how you pronounce it he says that in case you missed it the next generation update for the witcher 3 wild hunt is coming in the second half of 2021 i thought we would be waiting for a while like after in the cyberpunk source code getting stolen i thought we would be here for a while but that is definitely some poggers news for the fans i also never played witcher but i'm looking forward to the upgrade to play speaking of dying light 2 we're in that the dev says that PS4 and Xbox One are the game's main consoles and team's priority. Our streets are just not feeling this, guys. The director actually have done a Q&A with WCCF Tech, and I quote, the main consoles have long been our priority. We make every effort to ensure that the game's quality on PS4 or Xbox. Yo, where's the X, okay? You're missing the X is at the highest level we started testing on the older generation consoles much earlier than in other projects this was related to the scale of changes to the engine and ambitious plans to create an even larger and more complex game than dying light one bro i really hope that this game doesn't run at 15 fps like cyberpunk really though every single game that we're gonna get in the future is most likely gonna be coming out on last gen console it's just a given and on top dying light 2 was announced before ps5 and xbox series x was confirmed and knowing that people are having a 
a rough time getting a Sony Pony console. The Xbox console is just a given that it's gonna be coming out on both of these consoles. I don't view this as bad news because we're also hearing that Dying Light 2 on PS5 will feature performance and quality modes. I, I assume it's gonna be the same for the Xbox as well. Uh, Ray Tracy also confirmed as a bug, boys! We're hearing that Techland's rendering director, Thomas, uh, hopefully I did not butcher my man's name, had the following to say about the game's performance on PS5 and Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S when asked if there will be specific modes to choose from and I quote, yes, we plan to allow you to choose quality including ray tracing, performance equals 60 plus FPS. Yo, 60 plus FPS, uh, looks like I'm gonna be in heaven and 4K as well. As we are working hard on performance, I cannot provide more details at this point. We try to cram as much as possible into the next gens. You think Dying Light 2 being on last gen consoles, you think that's an L or W? Let me know. Also in the news, the homie Tom Henderson came out and we got two different stories for the, the Battlefield 6. And obviously the title is gonna be called Battlefield, but obviously on YouTube everyone is searching for with Battlefield 6. So I think we're gonna call it Battlefield 6 till the game is officially confirmed. But according to leaks, it's gonna be called Battlefield. And Tom Henderson, he claims that in Battlefield, explosions are not the only thing that can damage and topple buildings. Mother Nature can do a whole lot more. He provided a couple of photographic images. Shout out to the X recklessly for adding me in the situation as well. You're the stud muffin and apparently looks like that we're gonna be getting tsunamis in this game. We're gonna be getting tornadoes in this game. We're gonna be getting volcanoes and from what I've heard, we're gonna see a tornado in the trailer that we're gonna see in a month's time. So personally, really, really hyped for this game. Shout out to Big Benji for adding me in the situation and Tom followed up by saying hashtag Battlefield because Danny on PC was like related to these, I guess because he actually shared the NASA rocket videos out there, which I cannot say on YouTube here. We had this happen with the NASA rocket, and he says that for future references, SpaceX delays the launch for Falcon 9 rocket. We had tornado warnings in real life, so he's hinting at the fact that we're going to be getting that in the game. If you never played Battlefield, my G, you're probably like, I cannot see that happen in a video game, Skizzle. I don't blame you, my G, because games nowadays, they are just always disappointing. Call of Duty can never do stuff like that. They will never do, and even if they try to do, obviously, the fan base will flip then uh, but this is something we did get we had earthquakes during battlefield 3 the game that came out in 2011 okay just keep that in mind this is battlefield 4 we had like weather dynamics mostly in the campaign obviously we had like remaster maps in this game as well like gulf of oman we had a little bit of weather dynamics in multiplayer especially that revolution part in siege of shanghai and this game came out in 2013 bro just just let that sink in so eight years later i definitely think they can do a whole lot more also in the news the the Last of Us HBO series is kicking off production in Calgary, that's Canada, in July 2021. That is some pogger news for the fans, but check out this video on the screen, hit the subscribe bell so I can interrupt you every time you're about to score on your crush. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You're, respecting, you're disrespecting a future US Army soldier.